everyone, it's Rainy here and today I thought we'd have a play with one of our new digitals, the Pocket Tags Set 1. Um, this is currently in the shop and you can find the link in the description box below. Um, and I just wanted to have a little play with it today and show you some of the things you can do. Now this set comes with um, a plethora of colour options in various tag sizes. I won't show you all. And this one I've, I've actually cut out because this will be the one we'll work on today. And it also has some elements. Now, um, I made uh, specifically the fussy cut elements like the butterflies and the flowers. So you can find some. Uh, in two different ways. So one way they all have a bit of a border around them for like, you know, fussy cutting ease or for people who like to leave a bit of a border on their images to have them pop out from like their busy work um, but I've also done all of those with this slightly dark edge um, for for cutting again manual cut or scan and cut these if you've got a scan and cut um, which I have used to cut my bits and pieces in this box um, Hello, Larry. Yes, Bobby. You joining us? All right. There is also some images. Whoops. Larry, you on the papers? Oh. Also, some of these labels, some of these images, and there's some stamps in here somewhere. If Larry will let me find them. Here they are. And oh. There's these stamps, oh, and there's these labels as well. Thanks for the support there, Larry. All right, let me clear the desk, give Larry something to do, and then we'll begin. All right, I apologise for the shadow. We've got Larry situated in his box over here. So he's casting a little bit of a shadow. All right, so I cut out... This is three sheets of the set. I'll just show you in another colour. If I can find all of the same colour. So sheet with baby tags. Which is this one. And then we've got two lots of the bigger tags. Which is this one on a sheet. And then we've got two of the medium tags. Which is this one on the sheet like this now I've printed these on 200 GSM which is quite thick already um, but I'm also planning to get the back very dirty to fold them in half before I cut them any further these little tags like this And just using a glue stick, I'm going to glue these all together in one fell swoop. Like this. And press those together. So these are going to be exceptionally thick because, like I said, they were printed on the 200 GSM. Very sturdy little cards. I'm going to give them a sec to dry while we deal with the others. So let's do the bigger ones now. Um, I'm going to uh, use my ruler to score the fold lines. that and fold this one like this and this one's going to fold over like this you get comfy Larry you good boy all right so again glue make sure I don't stick this to the paper like I tend to do 
glue all over just this one panel here. And I'm just going to fold that in. Now I haven't cut the corners or anything yet because I'll just do those all together at the end once I've got it in place. Now I'm not gluing this down flat. I am gluing the um, top edges and I'll pop a little glue here too. So let's just do it. Give me, thank you. Ah, there we go. Bit of glue there, bit of glue here, and a touch across this corner. And then folding that over and press. Alright, so now I'm going to take my scissors and trim off my corners like this. And like this, checking that I got it on both sides. And a bit of inking. Okay, so that's that one. Let's do the other big one exactly the same way. Fast forward through this one because it's the same, just the pockets on the other side. So that's the second one done, nice and quick. Then we've got these ones. So let's start with this one. Again, I'm just going to score all the fold lines. Okay. Folding them all over. Okay, let's start with putting glue. on this panel not the little pocket though just the panel part like this and I'm going to fold that over then same as the big ones bit along here bit along here and this corner. Press that down. And then on this side, a bit on here and here. fold that up all right I'm gonna cut off these corners there's a little more on this side there's a touch more up here too like that and inking. Okay. 
let's do this one. All right, again, scoring my folds. panel and fold that over. The beauty of the glue stick is if when you fold it you realize that you've not scored it in exactly the right place you can kind of push it into position and then re-press that line. here and here Now if you didn't want this to be a pocket midway up this tag, you could cut that bottom flap off and have it as sort of a, a band that will hold whatever you're tucking in this pocket down. So that's another idea. Alright, so let's go back to the little tags now. They should be dry enough. We'll cut them out. got all of these cut and inked we can see how they're going to go together so little tags can go in medium tag bottom pocket now I have cut some of these in half before to have a tiny little tag in the top and a little embellishment at the bottom and that's an option of what we can do um, or they can just slot them in like this on the side Like that and then these ones will slot into these ones so the little nesting tag type things like that and we've got some spares that we can chop up and decorate and we can also decorate these let's move on to do some decorating so I might put these ones to the side and we'll just make this little set up for the moment okay so let's look at some of the elements I've already got cut out got some little flowers or some bigger flowers and butterflies and we'll also have the uh, images 
the labels and the images as well. And that could go on there. Let's pop that on there. Like that. Got little bits of stuff all over my desk. I think it's my ink, my black ink tools shedding. Really should change it. All right, so now maybe one of these little labels. Don't know if this one's going to be too much of the same, but let's chop it out and have a look. Yeah, not quite right. Let's try a green one, maybe. Maybe. Maybe this sort of duller mottled one. Oops, careful Larry, I almost took your whiskers off. Yes, I like that one much better. So, we'll put that one on there too. Bit of glue. And pop that one on there like that. Alright, and on the other side we'll leave that well, maybe we'll put a little something. Let me, let me see. Where's my little orchids? My little orchids. I could just put a little part flower down the bottom. It's sort of. I could put that that one down there, and this little one maybe up here if I cut it in half. Let's let's give it a try. Cut you in half like this. That down there like that. That one up there like that. I think I like it. I think I'm going to do it. Right. Like that. And... Alright, let's trim off the overhang. Just like that. Do we want a little number as well, maybe? Perhaps one of these. What colour do we want? Green, blue, purple, pink, brown, orange. Oops, I'm just going to go with this tealy coloured one here. Down here at the bottom, up here at the top, I think the bottom. 
bottom it is. Bit of glue. Oops, I glued it on to something else that it glued, but I think I can scratch it off. Yep. And try and straighten it up. Slightly wonky, but I'll live with it. So that's that baby tag done. Right, so uh, this is the other one and it's pretty on this side. I don't want to cover too much of it up. So maybe one of the small butterflies. Let's pull out this little pile here. That, like that. We'll go with that. We want it there. Put that like that there, and do we want to put anything else? I'll just go back to the flower idea. I think we'll just go back to the flower idea. Don't want that on there. Save that for something else. I feel like I want maybe part of a label like that. Let's do that. For balance, I should put something pale and purple or bluish on here. Let's cut out this little Paris here. See how that looks. One more, maybe a stamp. Where's my little stamp, Terry Tall? Here. on the side. Green, it's too much. Wait. Can't have another green. Maybe I just put it on the back. I think I will. Put it on the back, we call it done. I am going to call that one done. Alright, next is this. So, when these are in here, I think we'll put this one in this way here. You don't get to see the back, but we could put something here so that when they pull the tag out, they get a little, oh look, that's pretty, surprise. So, what do we want? Another butterfly. Maybe just the big butterfly. And maybe a label. Let's do it. Let's put it on. Right. 
just a butterfly. I put that on there. that in there and when it's popped out there's a little butterfly behind okay and on this side now I'm gonna use one of these tall flowers not the green one I'm a bit obsessed with this sort of tealy blue color so I think we'll just stick with it so, I'm going to glue this half of it, stick it on here like this. Drop that bit off. I'll save that for something else somewhere else. And I'm going to put that little number on this one. And that would be kind of cool to use as a sort of panel piece. So I need to pen. I need to cut this here. shave a touch more off the side so I want to see a little bit of what's behind it all the way around it just a touch of this side too then Okay, where's the other tag? Ah, coincidence. Same flower. Didn't plan that. Worked out well. Alright, so that one's fit in there and that one's there. And then they, these are going to go in here. decided which way round to go. Uh, if I swap where did the other tag set go? If I swap this for this one that has a pocket on that side, I can see that a uh, whole strip of numbers which I think is quite eye catching. So I might do that. So we've swapped tags. So on the back Alright, this might be actually better with those fussy cut ones. Let me cut a few out and show you what I mean. Alright, so I've just cut out these two and when I put them on there it gives it its edge a bit more definition and I think they look nicer when overlapped. So I'm going to go with these ones. Uh, I need to glue these on. Oh, I've got 
managed to glue it to the paper. Alright, it's kind of damaged that bottom flower, but since that's getting covered up, I don't think it really matters. So we're still going with it. And we'll put this one out. Just get a new piece of paper in. You don't need to use the same paper every single time. I think I'll be happy with that on that side and I think on this side I'm going to tear this image across the top here like this and glue that on here like that and then This one and put that on there. Oops. Like this. And Puggy Wuggy. This flowery part over the top. You're standing on the glue paper, sweetie. You always like standing on the glue paper, but you get sticky paws. Yeah, sticky paws. I know, right? So hungry. Yeah, I know. I'll feed you in a sec. I just need to finish. I'm like almost done. I'm like 99% done. Yes, yes, food, food, food. Just pop down for like two more minutes. Alright, so I've got some something stuck. I think it's a bit of foam from my tool. It could be a bit of glue. Either way, I just got to try. There we go. He's stuck down there. And just to finish it off, this little number that's floating around, maybe, but it's also here, so maybe not. Maybe just a slightly different colour. There are some little number labels. There you go. Okie dokie. Well, I think that's this one complete. Let's take a little look and see what we've got going on now. So we've got tag with puggy and inside is another tag with another tag with another tag and a very hungry pestry puggy. So I think that's all we've got time for, says Puggy Wuggy. We've got feeding we need to do. So thank you for joining us. 
and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye.